Hello everyone, welcome to my presentation, which is multi-LED, multi-data stream doom bulb for dense visible light communication network. I am Sajjad Polku and my colleague is Puya Nabavi. This work led by Dr. Yuxel and Dr. Renshaw from University of Central Florida. Actually, we would like to talk about visible light communication, which involve transmitter and receiver. In our work, though, transmitter uh, for transmitter, we are looking for um, um, providing illumination and multi-data stream of communication channels for a specified area um, with one transmitter as opposed to auto cells idea, which uh, each user has a dedicated uh, transmitter. Here we would like to uh, use one uh, fixture for lighting and communication in a dense uh, deployment of IoT devices. For receiver though, uh, we would like, of course, uh, reliable signal detection, high SNR, high, SN, uh, high SINR um, are our uh, are goals uh, or uh, are, are targets. Uh, here, the goal would be the multi-data stream VLC, high data rate, and uniform illumination. And you can see uh, the cartoon here, bottom right, that show one devices here uh, can communicate with multiple users, which is uh, what we would like to do. So to do this, uh, we introduced uh, a Doombob that works based on imaging-based beam steering that I uh, explained in the next slides, and it can be used for multi-data stream VLC in a dense deployment of IoT devices. Then um, we use, for now, uh, entirely simulated model. So basically, we could extract important information like uniformity, SINR, SNR. Also, with this uh, model, which is uh, done by ZMAX, so it is very accurate, uh, we can uh, extract the statistical behavior of our devices, the probability of uh, distribution of the irradiance. Also, we have some knobs to play beats and, um, and optimize our devices. So let's talk about imaging-based beam steering. The idea is simple, sorry. Um, basically, we have emitters in an array, in an array at the vicinity of the focal plane of a lens system. So when we have uh, this array and we uh, put it in, uh, at the focal plane, of course, we have uh, like, uh, um, we can have a collimated light, but uh, we can uh, move this uh, array closer to the uh, lens system and make an autofocus system. So basically, uh, the direction of the light after the lens depends on the uh, geometrical location of the uh, emitters. So each emitter maps the light to a specified area, a specific area in a Fourier conjugated uh, of this uh, of this uh, lens system. Uh, so. Um, you can see, for example, this, if the central and one LED at the corner is turned on, you can turn on all of them for like uh, multi, uh, multi-channel multi communication. But here, we, to be obvious, we just show two. We can address a different area, uh, different area at the target or, or, or image plan, which is like a four by four meter square room. Of course, we didn't achieve the you know, four by four meter illumination. Um, it is less, but uh, but it is still good because uh, here our, our the size of our device is very compact, very small, like um, 10 by 10 centimeter square cross section if we consider assembling and everything. So the uh, modulation or data rate uh, depends on the modulation of the LEDs that we did 25 megahertz modulation with the open eye and we could illuminate 4.4 meter square of a room and, uh, and you can see here at the central area you have the higher signal but uh, as you go through the edge of this ray bundle the signal drops. Of course there would be some interference between uh, different LED, specifically uh, adjusting LED. 
So we would like to uh, s uh, be able to uh, um, send multiple transmission. We would like to minimize the cross uh, section, uh, the cross uh, sorry, uh, between uh, simultaneous transmission and attaining uniform lighting across the room. And another important point here is uh, by this lens, you can see how the space is uh, specially filtered for a dedicated user and dedicated smart devices. So uh, here, um, um, basically, I color it um, uh, like a specific area uh, of the room uh, because, for example, we just want to send the data to this location while the other uh, LEDs can like transmit light, can participate in the tra data transmission or just illumination. So uh, if uh, two scenarios there are um, uh, shown here, uh, two scenario. One is the um, when the array of emitter is at the focal plane of the lens system, then you have these stripes, uh, which is not good for illumination, but you can see higher signal and lower noise. This is not good for illumination, but it, uh, it make uh, it is it made it makes it possible to uh, to uh, confine the light in a small cone with a low divergence and use for long distance, like kilometer range communication. For illumination purpose, though, uh, we apply this focus. We make this array closer to the um, lens system. So um, you can see the, the spot get broader. So we have more interference between this LED and this area and the adjacent LEDs. So we, uh, on the other hand, we have the better uh, illumination uh, uniformity, which is basically we are looking for. So uh, the point here is uh, this is a cost that we should pay for uniformity. And uh, one important um, point here is the active area, which is you can see um, the illumination uh, close to the corners are not uniform. So we kind of define this active area, which is defined here. So basically, we would like to have a, a uniform illumination of, inside this uh, uh, square and uh, also illumination inside this square. So having this irradiance map, uh, we can extract the uh, signal and uh, interference no, uh, interference. Uh, the signal uh, to, to have this, we, uh, we uh, located the uh, a detector, uh, imaginary detector at the different uh, location of this um, uh, active area. So the LED that delivered the highest signal to this detector uh, considered as the signal um, tra main transmitter and uh, and uh, and to have the signal map be uh, replaced 50,000 times randomly in different uh, different uh, location. So uh, for interference, uh, all other LEDs uh, except that main LED consider as a, a LED that uh, delivered the. Uh, the interference noise to the detector. So all other LEDs uh, have a role of the interference at uh, any location. When you have the uh, this uh, signal and interference, you can uh, you can have the SINR and SNR map. Basically, you can see in the central area uh, of uh, like for two different um, scenario, 15.6 uh, and 11.1 defocus uh, scenario, you can see the central area has the uh, lower SINR because you have a more overlap of uh, LEDs light because of the higher divergence to do defocus here. So you need to also define uniformity. Here we consider uniformity as a standard deviation divided by average of the irradiance map. The lower this value is the better, and for our system, it shows that it is optimized at 13.3% of the defocus. Of course, uh, it is important to have the statistical behavior of our design because uh, this uh, can be used for uh, design a good uh, receiver. So we can, for example, design a receiver that can work better in lower uh, let, let's say the SNR lower than two. So um, this is shown uh, best fit for SINR with the closed term um, Birnbaum-Sanders distribution. 
for both uh, both uh, the focus uh, scenarios and for SNR it shows the best uh, fit with the uh, Pareto uh, generalized Pareto distribution. Um, in conclusion, uh, we introduced the Doom bulb and it can transmit multi data stream in a dense uh, IoT devices. We can extract a, a signal and interference map and we can illuminate a very good area with a very small device like 4.4 meter square. Uh, multi data stream can be uh, achievable. Illumination uniformity, SNR, SINR, and probability distribution of the radiance map. Uh, can be extracted and can be optimized later on using the um, uh, the uh, the focus parameter. Here, uh, of course, uh, uh, this is everything is out of shelf, and uh, so uh, it it shouldn't cost much. Uh, so it is not a customized device. So with this, uh, thank you for your attention, and uh, I would be ready for any question.